Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. I get a lot of questions about uh, what I use to research campsites on the road. So today I'm going to show you one of my uh, favorite go-to um, applications for, for finding new campsites, especially public lands. Um, when we started out uh, way back in 2011, we bought this iPad. I guess this iPad's quite old now. And one of the first apps that I installed was this one called Allstays Camp and RV. And we used that a lot on our journeys, and it's been a been a mainstay for us. Uh, it's uh, still being updated. Uh, I think I paid like way back in the day; it was about three ninety nine, and it's still being updated all the time. Um, I think it's around nine ninety nine for the app now, and it works quite well. I also, uh, when I got my new Android phone, I went out and uh, got the one for it as well and used it. I find it a little <clears throat> small on the phone and uh, they've since stopped uh, supporting Android. There was something about Google Maps wanting a huge licensing fee or something like that. Uh, there's a little blurb on, on the, the website about it. Um, the iOS versions are still working but that's not the the main research tool I use. I've actually installed the Allstays Pro version. It's a yearly subscription and it works on um, my desktop computer. It will work on my Android as well if I go. It's a web-based uh, application so you have to use a web browser. So um, I'll switch over to uh, a screen capture of the program here and I'll go through all the features and show you why I really like it. Okay here's the the home page for Allstays at allstays.com and they do quite a quite a few different uh, applications. They do hotels and different things, truck stops but we're interested in camping so I'll click here in camping and uh, I use this I used to use this online quite a bit um, you can look at the say say you want to find camping in Arizona you would click that and you could go do, drill down to each city or you could pick the campgrounds map and uh, it would load up the all the all the camping in Arizona you can see it's quite squished there and you can zoom in like this, but you're kind of trapped to this small box. So if you want to unlock more, you have to basically pay. And that's where the Allstays Pro version comes into effect. So let me just go over to the Pro page here. And you can see what you get with the, the Pro version. So you basically you unlock the full screen maps, full details on maps. Um, you also get land status, which is which is kind of nice. It'll tell you whether it's public or private land and what kind by the shading. So you can check and see if it's a BLM or a wilderness, something like that. Um, you can all kinds of um, in-depth filtering. Um, you can filter by price and ratings. Um, also, they have different tools. The elevation tool isn't working right now. That's got to do with um, he's not using Google Maps anymore. He's using Open Maps. So. I think he's working on that. Um, fair disclosure is um, I'm an actually an affiliate for this Allstays Pro. Um, I bought it and used it for about a year and then I decided to, to support it as an affiliate. I get a payment if someone goes through my affiliate link so I, I have some bias there just so you know up front. Um, one thing about getting the Pro version is it's constantly being updated. So, so the developer, when he adds something to it, he incorporates it right away. Um, it's a yearly subscription. I believe it's twenty nine something, um, and you can cancel it. You know, go from year to year or, or keep renewing it to get the updates. Anyway, there's much more. You got all the Walmart parking, rest areas, um, RV dumps, propane cellars. Goes on and on. Um, weather trails layer is kind of interesting and gives you a little, little uh, where where popular hiking trails are. Um, this is an, one reason I went to bought it when I got my new Garmin um, RV seven sixty GPS. It could I could load custom points of interest GPS files. So by buying the Pro version, I get access to download those files. I'll show you in a little while how I load it onto my onto my Garmin GPS and what it looks like. Traffic layers, there you go, more and more. Let's just see what the join looks like, just so I can get the exact price. Yeah, twenty nine ninety five renewing subscription. Um one year access, thirty two ninety five, or you can get multiple year options. 
anyway let's uh, I'm gonna sign into um, my version of pro so I can give you the kind of behind behind the paywall what what the maps look like and we'll give you a little little bit of a look inside so let me sign in there we go and we'll log in okay so here's the page um, like I say I'm an affiliate there's some affiliate info there you set up your profile um, active resources so let's just go to the enter explore now and this is the main page um, here's up here under downloads is where you could download all the GPS files for different types of GPS there's you know just Garmin or TomTom Tom, Magellan you can actually download Google Earth files as well and it looks like down below he's got some PDFs Walmart PDF truck stops guns and RV travel guide some PDF downloads. Let's just go to the the main page here that shows everything. Like you can just pick one thing at a time here if you just want to see Walmarts or truck and travel. But we're going to go with Camp RV Pro. It takes a second to to load the the page in. One interesting thing about this is it's got a bit of caching. So uh, when you load in a section and you leave your browser open, it'll 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 remember it even offline. And then as we zoom in, it'll start to populate the, the different things. Um, let's pick something that's not so busy. <laughs> um, I'll go in here. To, I'm near Aho right now, so we'll pick Aho. There we go. And you can see here, um, this is a, a BLM land here. So we'll just click that. You can see Darby Wells Road Area BLM. And under here, you'll get uh, links to all kinds of different information. You get a weather report. You can get a link to the BLM website. Um, I find this really handy, add, add and see reviews. So when I click that, uh, no reviews found on this one yet. <laughs> so let me go back and find one that's a little more. It's not a super popular one. Let's go down to uh, the National Park here. There we go. A lot of people stay there, so we'll check the reviews here. There we go. So you can see people have added quite a few reviews on the park lately. Great campground with campsites embedded in a cactus garden, blah, 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 five stars. So, you know, you get uh, you can quickly load and find information on the campground versus being on your phone and everything's kind of tiny and you try to load a web page to read it. Uh, there's also a link to reviews on, a, on the web, so it'll instantly... Google search that and you'll get some of the the top review sites like there's the all stays one but you got RV park reviews and and TripAdvisor that sort of thing and photos on the web which is a nice link too so you know when I'm really trying to explore an area I can get a lot of information quickly by doing this app and the other thing I like is the layers over here so this is just the standard layer but I can go with enhanced and then I get uh, some of the, the top topography. And also I like to put on land, and that's the land use. So you can see this, this kind of gray purple is the national park. Um, this bluey is a wildlife refuge. The yellow is the BLM. Um, the pinky is an Air Force base, so it's a military land. So you can see there's all kinds of different shading. So you can quickly find um, where the borders are as far as camping on public lands and what is public lands pretty quick with that shading. Um, the other neat thing is if you can you can uh, use these uh, filtering here and filter out just filter out just what you want to see. So a lot of times I'll go in there and I'll go okay, I want to see BLM and I want to see county parks, state parks, national forests, wildlife area. Those are the ones where you really like to camp in. So I got those on now. Now the map will only show that type of campsite. It won't show the, the commercial campgrounds to me. So I can really start to research when I'm looking for, for a campsite to go to. You can see all these BLM areas here. And down here, here's Kofa. We've camped there before. It's National Forest or Wildlife 
and there's usually a little blurb about it um, saying how to get there. You got GPS coordinates, reviews, really handy. And then you can go to, if you want to go to Street View, Google Maps, Waze, it's all the links are there. I really find that good. Let's just go back here or straight. Kind of when I click there, it, it finds where I am. Actually, the cell tower I'm using seems to be up here near Buckeye. <laughs> However, my cell connection is turning in. So I won't go through all these filters, but you can see you can filter by different amenities, you know, 50 amp water showers, all kinds of different things you can filter, filter things by. Um, clubs, you know, if you belong to Passport, you want to see all the Passport America or all the escapees, Thousand Trails, you can do that. Um, rates, so if you want to see all the free or cheap ones, you can filter that. Now you see it's bang, that's all the things that are $12 or less that you can go to. Um, rating, what people have reviewed it in the All Stays app. And elevation, you need to stay under, say, 5,000 feet because you have some type of health issue. That's That's a pretty good one. Um, another one I like is bridges and grades. So you can you can add filters like a road grades, um, clearance. So you you pick your uh, your rigs clearance, say 12 to 13 or 14 to 15. You can see that adds a lot. But you can see over here, a road grade gives you a little warning about a grade, exactly what the percent is and for how long. Should be some up here by I-17. Yeah, there's there's lots up here you can see as it goes into the mountains. So that's a handy one when you're planning your route. You can go in and see what you're going to be faced with. They got a six percent grade for six miles southbound descent. Then you got your uh, rest stops and fuel stops. All the truck stops are in there. Rest areas where to get propane, stores and supplies. You can put in all the Walmarts. So it tells you the Walmarts that you may have a chance of parking in and the ones that are a no-go, Cracker Barrel, Bass Pros, Cabela's, Camping World. So that's all listed in there as well. And like I say, the, the, the person who, who does this, I think he's an RVer himself, the developer. So he's always updating this one. So you get access to the newest stuff all the time. I believe he's even got a beta version going on in the All Stays Pro section. Yeah, here you can see the latest new features in progress. So it's actively being uh, updated. You can see recent updates over there. Let me give you a quick look at how I load the the points of interest files onto my my Garmin GPS. You can see I've downloaded quite a few different things but I put them in a folder called my POIs here now you can see I got uh, I've downloaded the all stays Walmart camping public camping RV dump and then this ultimate campgrounds is a, is another thing it's it's a pretty good website that has some pretty a pretty good PI POI list I think it, they charge like 395 or something anyway so I need to use an application called POI loader that's free on my windows here I just launched that and then I go next, Garmin device. I have the Garmin plugged into a USB, and you can see it it recognized it there as the RV760. Um, I'll put a link in the description to a review I did when I first got it. I've had it a couple of years now. I got it as a Christmas gift. It's been good. So next, uh, install new custom POIs onto your device. So you would just go next, and then you would navigate to, to that uh, folder and then it will just load them all. I've already got them loaded on, so I'll just cancel that and uh, we'll switch over to a video camera and give you a look at what it looks like on the GPS. Okay, so I do is hit where to and I have my custom POIs up here and you can see now I have all the all stays in there so let's pick public camping and do a search right now I'm in the Twin Peaks campground at the uh, National Monument um, then shows you the 
the nearest uh, public camping. It goes up to around 200 miles away. All the different BLM sites and state and national parks that I have in there for public camping. Or you can use the search. Say I want to check out Alabama Hills. Search for that. There we go, Alabama Hills BLM. Sounds good. So that's handy if you if you've uh, picked up a a campsite, a BLM campsite, you can uh, just punch it into your GPS and it'll give you directions right to it. Cool. Please try to highlight route. So that's the, the my go-to app for finding uh, places to camp down in the southwest, especially the, the public camping when we're on our snowbird adventures. Um, I'll link to a post I did because uh, I get questioned very often about uh, finding campsites. So I'll link to a post in the description of how to how I find um, boondocking in the southwest and it has uh, some tips tips in there for you ways I use it. But this all stays is one of my my first go-to apps when I'm researching air, new areas to go to. Thanks for watching folks. Cheers.